Okay, so welcome. Here's a question that I get a lot. And the question says, what is the difference between angles as radians and then in terms of pi? And what the students are referring to is, you know, if I say a theta equals 2 or theta equals pi over 2 or theta equals 3.5 or theta equals 3 pi over 2. What's the difference? Are those both radians or those degree? What's, how do we know the difference and how to graph those? So what I want to do is I want to go back through again and start with our definition of a radian. So remember, when we're creating a circle here, all right, we have a nice lovely circle, which I have not created yet. All right, so we have a nice lovely circle, kind of looking something like that. Remember, the definition of a radian, well, the definition of a radius, was, remember, was the distance from our center of our circle out to the outer edge of our circle. And so that was, so we called our radius right here, which was usually our initial side of any of our angles. Now if we were to take our radius and we were to wrap that around our circle, what we would create is a radian. So if I wanted to find the measure, now remember when I now take, now when I take my ray, and I extend it to that distance, we call that angle theta, which is going to be a central angle. Now the distance, or the measure of that angle theta, which we call be one radian. So if I wanted to find the measure of two radians, I would have to calculate the distance of two radians, which you know, roughly is going to be right there. So you could say the measure of two radians would be roughly something like that. Then, if you wanted to say, well, when does theta equal 3.5? Well, if you just what you're going to do is just going to keep on adding radiuses around the circle. So that would be 3, and that would be 4. So I'd say maybe 3.5, I'm just kind of estimating, is going to be roughly right around here. So therefore, the radius or the angle 3.5 is going to be somewhere in the third quadrant between 3 and 4. All right, so remember, when dealing with just whole numbers, that's telling you the, um, the measure of your radius or, or the measure of your angle in terms of radians wrapped around, or radiuses wrapped around your circle, which we call radians. So that's how we measure these two angles. Here was theta is 2, and then from here to here is when theta would equal roughly about 3.5 radians. This is actually a little bit farther down. So then where does pi come in, and how do we do angles like that? Well, I think I have a little bit of work over here. So pi comes in is because what you notice is 3 radians doesn't exactly go all the way around. So what they did is we look at exactly halfway around a circle. If here's 1 radius, 2 radius, 3 radius, what we noticed was halfway around a circle, 1 radian, 2 radian, 3 radians, halfway around a circle, we didn't have a whole number for it. So that whole, that number, which we came up with, is actually pi. So that means that halfway, the distance halfway around a circle is pi radians. So if I want to measure an angle pi over 2, what that means is this whole distance divided by 2, which means the angle is only going to go from here to here. So that's when theta would equal pi over 2. Now if I want to add a 3 pi over 2, that means, well, here's pi over 2. Here would be 2 pi over 2, and then here would be 3 pi over 2. So the main important thing you need to know is when we're talking about the difference of trying to measure radians, or trying to measure an angle in radians or in terms, or in radians in terms of pi, remember radians is just going to be the, me the measure of rotation of a distance of your radians around your circle. And in terms of pi, what you're going to do is you're going to look at it as remember halfway around a circle, so you're just going to kind of break it up into the fractions that you need to be able to find the measurements. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any further questions, make sure you uh, comment down below and also subscribe. Happy to help. Thanks.